when were the islanders taken off from the islands and dispersed? The, the islanders um, stayed on the islands a lot later than much of the other people yeah. on the mainland, you know, were probably easier to protect themselves. Right, and um, but they but they had they also had their experiences with the the otter hunters too, the Russian otter hunters who were going and taking um, Native Alaskans up there, and actually one of the islands was you know decimated um, of its men for the most part by by an incident that happened, but they they had stayed on the islands. Um, a lot of them until the early 1800s, and that's when 1820s, 1830s, when they were a lot of them were, were systematically moved off the islands. And you know, there's a story that's very popular with um, fourth graders today called Island of the Blue Dolphins, yes. um, and that's I've based, read it. <laughs> yeah, and that's based on an actual true story of a woman who was taken from San Nicolas, you know, and her family. Some of the last survivors that were taken off. Um, during that period. So it becomes very important for those reasons, but also there, there were communities in that area that never made it to the missions because when you look at the history, the chronology of, of the Los Angeles Basin and some of these ranchos were being um, established you know, in the late yeah. 1700s. So a lot of people didn't even make it to the San Diego mission. They started working as labor. We have, we have a story, um, you know, in our community about um, um, whether it was an actual village or a refugee camp, we don't know, but it was a group of people who were living on a particular piece of land down there, and um, when the Americans had taken over um, at a later period, probably the 1870s or 1880s maybe, they wanted that land for the oil um, uh. that was on the land, and these people wouldn't leave. And so they were massacred because of that. But if you look at the history of the San Pedro Harbor, there's um, so many oil companies that started developing in that area, and it was a uh, um, that was around the same time as the massacre. Um, probably later on. Later, later on, they came later on, and at their height during the 1920s. Yeah. Um, with the oil, but you have all these different oil companies, you know, that established themselves down there, and that was their major, you know, natural resource that they um, that they used, that they exploited, was the oil down there. So, and they changed the landscape down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, they dug up some and filled in others. Yeah, there was a lot of that going on, and even the harbor was changed dramatically too, like. You know, Dead, Ab Dead Man's Island that used to exist over there, yeah. where there were burials, um, Rattlesnake Island. Um, so there were there the whole structure, the landscape of the harbor was changed also.